Hello, my name is Dante Rene, and welcome to the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like tonight's film, 1970s, The Strange Vice of Mrs. Worth. Worth? Ward. Ward? Maybe Ward. <laughs> this is by Sergio Martino, 1970, and uh, this is from No Shame Films. This DVD, I had to buy it used, it wasn't too cheap. And uh, I have some special features back here, but here's... And we also have um, we have George Hilton in this film, and we also have Edwidge Finich, which I'm probably mispronouncing her name. If you saw my review of Your Vice is a Locked Door and Only I Have the Key, you'll hear me say that a million times. But this is The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward, and a film by Sergio Martino, um, who also did um, a film after this, uh, Your Vice is a Locked Door. Now, the interesting thing about this film is that they mention in the dialogue... That phrase, that title from the film Your Vice is a Locked Door and Only I Have the Key, yet this film is called The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward, and this film came before that film. Very interesting. I was watching a dialogue and I said, wait, whoa, whoa, wait a second. They just said that. They just said the title of the other movie. The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. This is a film where um, where front and center, Edwidge Finich is front and center. Okay, this this girl is front and center in this film. She is the main character of the film. This is a film of sexual perversions and S and M and bondage and and jealousy and adultery and free love and um, dark, creepy, suspenseful, horrific moments that you would see in a scary horror film that would really kind of send shivers down your spine. Uh, this is a film of eroticism and beauty and freedom and freedom of expression, freedom of life, freedom of living. Essentially, we have a film about a woman who is moving towards her future but is having a hard time because of relationships of her past. But not only that, her own strange vices that she is repressing and maybe they're more powerful than she thinks and she wants them more than she thinks. The strange vice of Mrs. Ward. Let's get into this film right here. The music in this film was by Nora Orlandi. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Nora Orlandi. And let me tell you. If there isn't a soundtrack yet for this film, there freaking better be. The music, the, the score in this film is unreal. Music fills this movie. Fills this movie. Fills the scenes of this movie. Fills the movie at the right times, the right spots, oh, the right orchestrations. Uh, I got butterflies in my stomach and chills. The main theme of the film that almost has like a voice in it. In, in some ways, it almost reminded me of the voices that are used in the ending score song of the original Child's Play. I know that sounds really crazy, but mixed in, a, in an Italian world. It's just a haunting, creepy, powerful, emotional theme. We also have some sexy vibes in this film mixed with darkness and pounding bass lines. The music in this film is, runs the gamut of creepy, dark, emotional... Uh, 70 psychedelic um, and 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 haunting and 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 pulsating and sexy powerful ecstasy and fear fear and ecstasy which I believe was another line in the movie fear and ecstasy the sound design of this film is also extremely important as there are scenes that just depend upon the wind blowing and scenes that just depend upon water dripping on the ground. You'll see that these things are focus points in the storyline of the film and in the film itself. So the, the score and the sound design are amazing, beautiful. The cinematography in this film, in comparison with Your Vice is a Locked Door and Only I Have the Key, Sergio Martino in this film is going crazy. This film stylistically is through the roof. It is, there is style in every second of this film and it's right in your freaking face. 
this I mean he is doing these amazing shots and zooms and distant shots and close up and he's he's doing suspenseful shots and of course you also have violent shots where he relies more on his shooting to make a violent scene truly murderously violent and disturbing and dark and less on special effects but more on his cinematography and his direction oh and there are this, these roaming shots and these gliding shots, almost like Kubrick in The Shining or 2001 Space Odyssey, but definitely like The Shining Hallways. You know, those types of shots. And it's such a wild camera in this film. If you like giallos with style, like you're looking for, like you say to yourself, I want some more style in my giallo film. Well, this is the one for you. Right here, The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. I mean... Out of the Martino films I've seen so far, this one is just like, I mean, it's through the roof with style, through the roof with the music. And when we go into the sleaziness of this film, this is a very, very sleazy film. There is a lot of nudity in the film. Um, we're, all, you know, we're regulated to uh, topless and the, and the butt. Um, no uh, vagina glimpses of pubic hair, but this is a film that, and I keep saying this is a film because it is, um, <laughs> Very sexual film, very erotic film, and it is tied in directly with the storyline. I mean, you know, Giallo films have violence and sex, and they used to have yellow covers, you know, for those shady magazines or pamphlets because they dealt with lurid subject matter. Well, there is some very lurid subject matter, and it's part of the world, it's part of the story, it's part of the characters, it's part of everything. It's part of everything. Uh, it's sleazy. It's 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 free love. It's sexual. Edwidge Fenech, she is the lead in this film. Her hair is long in this film, long and black, and her breasts, her her legs, her her butt, everything is 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 utilized in this film. Her eyes, the double eyelashes, her mouth, her nose, her flowing hair in the sunlight and in the coldest of moments, it is utilized. Her sexuality is utilized in the film and it is a it is a focal point of the film even in this uh, the scene where she is running through these city streets in a, in a mini skirt or kind of a very short skirt you know the sexuality in this film and in giallos in general it is not something if, if you watch it and you say gosh this thing is really sexual this is not th these aren't films for you this is not a film for you these aren't films for you because the sex is the style the sex is the movie the violence is the style the violence is the movie and they are the story okay same with the music same with the, the way the camera moves same with the way the women look and the characters look and you have beautiful uh, women in this film and you also have handsome uh, men for the ladies as well in this particular film architecture uh, wise locations unbelievable unbelievable we have the most awesome 70s pads you've seen 70s apartments 70s houses couches wallpaper bathrooms bathtubs i mean the painting designs the carpeting my gosh it's the, i mean this movie is filled to the brim with the most uh, just eye-popping awesome um houses and apartments and city streets and, and, and car rides. Uh, cars play a role in this particular film as well. This is a film... Well, I said the music has some psychedelic uh, uh, 70s uh, rock vibes also. Some, some, some score vibes with that. There's, there's some hallucinatory psychedelic imagery in this film and the way that it's filmed and, 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 and reality and dreams and, and, um, and, and it's wrapped up in a, in a film of characters and, and characters and of course being a Jala film major twists and turns and the movie continues on and you think it's over and it's not and and characters are revealed and and and, and red herrings are exposed for what they are and these breathtaking mountains these breathtaking cliffs breathtaking roads if you thought the motorcycle um, Ride and your vice is a locked door movie. Watch that review. Watch that movie it was amazing. The motorcycle rides in this film are through the roof. The the fast car rides in this film are th are amazing. No, the car chases. These are just driving your car through the streets. 
um, in presumably Italy, I guess. Um, there's such a pace, there's such an energy, there's just there's this one section of these like tall i mentioned the shining again tall shining like maze bushes like in that section of the shining just breathtaking and it all adds to the environment um the horror in this film is very creepy and there is this film is thick with suspense thick this is the strange vice of mrs ward right here folks um Sexual, bloody, very violent, not gory, violent, and um, weird and bizarre, existing in its own world of, of, of freedom and style. I've said this before, style is the substance of this film in Giallo, but if this film, style is the substance. Not style over substance. Style is the substance. Thank you so much for watching the Ten Room Bizarre YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like this beautiful one right here. Thank you, Sergio Martino. And thank you for watching. Feel free to check out all my other 100 plus reviews in this YouTube page and my own personal films at youtube.com slash poopy diarrhea. Thank you and good night.